We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film by Miami Dolphins tight end Julian Hill. For an undrafted rookie, I think he had a really promising season, a lot of things to like. Obviously, I want to see the Dolphins still add a tight end, some guy that can be like that true number one for the team. But I think Hill showed me enough this season where I think he has some quality tight end two potential. Like I don't think he's ever going to be like some top tier guy, but there's enough to like with his game overall. Like um, As a blocker, he looked good from the get-go. Lots of... Uh, <laughs> physicality to his game he puts people on his back right there just like that i love the tenacity the nastiness that he plays with he can do a little better job at consistency like derm's my the more consistent player overall in the passing game and the running game and i like him you know as a decent player he's not really a tight end one type either they both do the job in sort of different ways they felt more comfortable julian hill's really good on the move you get him building up his potential he's a little more athletic at the tight end position and he has some that power in his hands that explosiveness and then when you build that speed with it he's making big plays like this and this is a bernard too is a pretty good player for the bills and he puts him on his back really impressive stuff sometimes he can get a little over aggressive maybe with this stuff but overall this is a uh, really fun to watch him play and then i think as a receiver he has higher potential there than Smythe for sure as a receiver um i think he's just more picking up the little details of things because he has some explosiveness to make some plays on space and he definitely got more comfortable as the year went on as a receiver so uh, i want to see that sort of develop because there's a uh, definitely potential there with as a guy like after the catch and i just want to see him be a quality tight end too for an undrafted guy really really fun season for julian hill doing this for like versatility reasons like the way they used him like his alignments and then the motion here they would not i don't think trust Smythe in this situation and hill doesn't even get like the perfect block but he basically you can tell bernard like this is a you know a few plays later where he already put bernard on his back and they're motioning him across and then having him basically lead up in uh as like a lead blocker he kind of you know whiffs it a little bit here but you can tell bernard doesn't want to square him up he wants to get low and he basically just takes himself out of the play which uh is very very nice to see but yeah i just love the versatility and the ways that he, they can use him because he has the athleticism where you can have him basically be f going across as like a jet motion and then stop on a dime and then get up field and work as like the lead on that block so just a lot of things uh, i think he can add to this offense i still want to see the dolphins add a tight end one a true tight end one because they haven't really had it they haven't had that since um since McDaniel's come like they had to Gusecki but Gusecki was, is, was like one of the worst scheme fits you could have for this offense he's a good player but just doesn't fit what they need I think they need to add an all-around guy because they have some quality options as a tight end two and tight end three right now I do love watching Julian Hill just work on these motions this is he was definitely uh the better guy for this scenario and this is like an insane block the Dolphins you know running some outside zone and for him to work across the formation like this and cut off clowny like this is not an easy ask you have to work across you snap the ball you're still like a couple yards inside clowny right here you have Smythe work around him he cuts inside you attack the outside half of him boom and now you're in perfect position readjust i love how he he didn't over uh, get over aggressive here and try to just destroy the edge i've seen him do this where he gets and puts the guy on his back but clowny really good player just boom, attack that outside shoulder and then get your hips across. Stay balanced. Don't get, you know, overextended or anything. And now you're just sealing it off and you give A-chan a hole to hit that outside. That is beautiful stuff. Uh, so much to like for what Julian Hill did this season. Uh, not trying to pretend like he's some, like, top-tier player, but he uh, definitely exceeded expectations for sure. Uh, for the UDFA guys, he was probably the... I mean, they had a few guys make the roster and he was the one who made the biggest impact. I feel like him and Chris Brooks could still potentially even have roles down the line for this team as i was saying they love to use him on the move so many different ways this time instead of you know hitting the end out in space you're getting a guy at the second level and i love like the, his guy makes the attack or uh like he just sustains this for so long look i love how he stays patient here sometimes i've seen him whiff these blocks out in space by getting a little too aggressive but this time he squares them up uh takes a really good angle to the point of attack aiming point boom get him on and now you're just straining sustaining uh his guy ends up making the tackle but he blocks him and carries him for you know so many <laughs> yards out in space uh for a very long time which is a very very nice thing to see here to see hill involved in the receiving game uh i think towards the end of the season i feel like the washington was his game which we'll see some plays from was sort of like his breakout in the receiving game because he just looked uncomfortable early on like either uh, just not being in the right spot detail wise or he would get the ball and uh not be super comfortable after the catch yet but i feel like once he 
adjusted to that the speed of the game uh you know sometimes it could be tough because he was more of a receiving tight end in college at, coming out of campbell now you're getting him involved the dolphins running the seam row slide rpo he had a few plays uh made in this scenario you get him the ball and he definitely this is where i think he can add more to the like him and Smythe are both blo uh solid blockers but in different ways julian uh Smythe is more of like the consistent be in the right positioning and then hill is like trying to you know knock your face off but this is where i think hill can separate himself from the current tight ends on the roster is his ability after the catch he has some physicality to his game the dolphins do not have a tight end that can make some plays after the catch and he started showing this towards the end of the season at least on his few touches you know dip his shoulder break a tackle get upfield throw your shoulder in other guys carry guys for you know a couple yards these are the things i want to see and i think they need out of a tight end in this offense whether it's you know someone they add but these are linebackers like that's boom patrick queen bounce off of him then roquan smith and geno smith get to like the, the the first down area that's a really really good play and something that gives me really uh at least solid hopes for hill to have an impact in the passing game because he looked quite athletic in these situations as the year went on here to see some julian hill in pass protection actually you know like this i love all the different versatile looks that he, they can bring with him and then they bring him across and he gets one-on-one -on -one with demarcus lawrence and pretty much meets him right there at the point of attack uh he's you know thinks it might be a run with the play action but then he ends up identifying it hill stays patient boom takes it and then brings the fight to him after he squares him up and stays patient and he sees you know this scenario right here he attacks him gets good hand placement doesn't get super overextended then it, you know uh gets back to good body positioning right here stays square gets aggressive takes lawrence out of that and then he gives just a nice clean pocket for Tua. Love to see, you know, uh, some pass blocking as well because that can always be be helpful in these types of offenses. Do you see Julian Hill involved in the passing game this time, you know, working, you know, these sit routes? These were pretty much all he really worked this year, I would say. It's just like the sit routes over the middle or the seam rail slide RPO stuff. And he just didn't really get targeted. The whole tight ends didn't really get targeted. I would like to see that expanded more into the offense. Uh, but yeah, this is also a great play by Tua. This is the one where he jukes the guy out of his shoes. Um, but yeah, just find that open spot in the zone, looked more comfortable, like he just didn't look as comfortable throughout the year, and then get upfield and turn into a threat after the catch, showing contact balance and play strength, like to carry guys for multiple extra yards, like this guy makes contact with him about at the 11, 10 yard line, and ends up getting taken down at the four, so very impressive, uh, that's something the offense missed for most of the year, and then Julian Hill started to show it later on, but he still would only get those touches uh, very sparingly. This is a second and three situation. This was like the first time I was like, oh, Julian Hill, he's really, he's got it as like that play strength, like carrying defenders. I love this competitive toughness, the physical toughness. You're that flat option. Get this. You get hit about a yard and a half short of the first down on contact, fight through it, uh, get the extra yard, even get hit by another DB reach for it get it easily pick up like five on the play you needed three really really good stuff from julian hill um so if they don't get a tight end or like a true tight end one or someone who's like that great after the catch i feel like hill can develop into a guy that you can at least trust to make some physical plays after the catch and i think that offense uh needs that i think you know it would be nice to have like a tight end that's also a guy that can get open or make big contested catches down the field i think that's like the next step in development you want to see from julian hill it is something he did in college well he did at the nfl level not sure he does have that blocking and at least the ability to make some plays uh down underneath in the passing game uh but yeah uh, i think the tight end room if they add like a top tier guy has some really solid pieces to it we're to see julian hill in motion again they love to use him in motion being basically a lead on these tosses and i he takes on sauce here and which allows most to the end zone i love the aggressiveness because in this situation this was a perfect time to be aggressive and create some displacement because in a lot of situations i'm totally fine if this guy would have slowed down uh been a little more square at the point of attack so he can get a clean hit on the db because a lot of times dbs are good at avoiding it especially when you're uh, going pretty full speed and hill does a good job of slightly slowing down but still maintaining enough speed so when he does meet sauce at the point of attack he can explode his hips into it and his lower body to move him like a few yards outside because if he doesn't move sauce that many yards outside then he would have been had all these three guys to make these tackles and he moves them just far enough for Mostert to hit that crease into the end zone just really really nice stuff uh, and sauce is a pretty big corner as well so it's not like it's uh, super easy but 
that is a pretty much perfect execution of Julian Hill. Last play that we're going to look at for the Julian Hill film, just another classic one, uh, one where he absolutely destroyed, it was a perfectly blocked across the, the board, but he destroyed an edge defender, I believe that's Brian Burns actually, and they motion him across, a little bit different setup this time with how they set this up, but yeah, they get this guy to knife to the inside, and he just explodes into him at full speed, he doesn't try to, this is kind of like the clowny play that I showed earlier, but he doesn't try to, you know, get that outside path, I think with Mostert, they're trying to hit this more to the inside, and he just attacks the inside half of him this time, and explodes, you can see the extension too, just the power in his hands, the pop, to take him on here, explode, and pushes him basically outside the numbers when they made contact at about right here. And most are able to hit up to the inside. Just really good work. This was like one of the first games where I feel like Julian Hill really stood out. He showed some promise for this. But yeah, just so much to like throughout the season. Um, and his usage was pretty sparingly too. I think he played about 350-ish snaps throughout the season, which is good for an undrafted tight end. Um, undrafted rookie guy. So yeah, lots to, you know take away from this season he basically turned to the draft one of the draft picks he was probably after a chan for that draft class was the, the most productive so see how it can develop i think the dolphins really really like him he has that skill set that just perfectly blends into that shanahan style scheme so i do think we're going to see more and more of him even if they add a guy which i think they will but yeah it's so much to like uh so if you enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time peace